Hi! Today we're going to do homemade apple cider. It's autumn here in Maine and it's the perfect time to make apple cider. So let's get started. I'm going to slice up my apple right here and I have this little slicing gizmo here. And I'll just slice that right up just like that. Get it? We'll bring it over here and I have a food grinder. And what we'll do is we'll just grind up the apple. It's good to use a mixture of apples. So um, our cider is going to have a mixture of Macintoshes and Cortlands and delicious apples, red delicious apples. And because each of the apples has a different sweetness and tartness, and it's nice to get a little bit of a mix. And you can grind up the whole apple, you can grind the core up. And there's the apple mash. And let's head over to our cider press. And here's the cider press. This press is made in Maine. It's made of pine. And what we do is we put the apple mash into the press and there's a mesh bag and what this does is it keeps the um, skin and uh, seeds and things like that from being pressed into the cider. Put this right inside. And what we'll have is we have the press has a screw here, and we'll just put that right down in there. Many um, of the orchards in Maine may allow you to get uh, dropped apples uh, for uh, just a donation of a few dollars. And if you're interested, um, a bushel of apples probably makes maybe uh, two gallons of cider. And if you zoom right in there, you'll see that the press really does a good job of getting that cider right out of the apple. Now, uh, the advice we get is that really before you drink some cider that you've hand pressed, it's not a bad idea to heat it to about 180 degrees just to kind of kill off any uh, microbes or things like that that, uh, that may have gathered on the, on the surface of the apples. So we'll take this cider, and we've got some cider heating over here. There we go. And we're just going to heat that right up. And that cider that we was in there was, was heated up, so I'll just show you a little bit of it here. So there you have it, homemade Maine apple cider. We'll see you next time.